Hallo und willkommen zurück zum Let's Play The Stanley Parable. Ich habe eine Aufnahmepause gemacht und dachte, das Spiel speichert mir das Ganze. Aber egal was ich tue, wir sind wieder komplett am Anfang. Das heißt, es ist jetzt nicht so tragisch, denn ich kann die verschiedenen Stränge dann doch nochmal separat angehen, aber wir hatten hier beim letzten Mal komplett den Boden voller Zettel und auch die Texte werden jetzt halt ähnlich bis gleich sein, da ich halt wie gesagt nochmal Toto Completo von vorne beginne für das Spiel, obwohl ich ja die Erfolge weiterhin freigeschaltet habe. Schauen wir mal. All of his so. What could it mean? Das hatten wir Stanley alles schon. Decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alles schon gehabt. Das ist ein bisschen ärgerlich. Ne? Ihr habt das gesehen. Wir haben hier alles schon abgegrast. When Stanley came to a set of ja, two ja, open ja. doors. He entered the door on his left. Blöd. Das ist echt doof. Nun gut. Yet there was not a single ja, person ja, here weg. either. Wissen wir. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Up, up, up. He might... Coming to a staircase, Stanley das walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ich mach das nun einfach noch mal, ne? Weil waren wir hier schon? Hallo. Nein. Äh... Stepping into his manager's office, oh, Stanley 28? was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. War das das? Unraveled. Stanley was in such a rush to get through oh. the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Yeah, that kind of anxiety <laughs> isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Komischerweise, das nimmt er jetzt. Obwohl wir frisch angefangen haben, weiß er dennoch, dass wir hier schon einmal waren. Oh. Schauen wir uns die Bilder ein bisschen an. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, no, Stanley weiter. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Alles klar, gehen wir weiter. Kennen wir schon? Haben wir alle schon gesehen? Es geht runter. Wie gesagt, ich will die Blätter noch mal haben. Das rushen wir eben schnell durch. Wir laden. Äh, ja. Die erste Aufnahme, die ich übrigens gestartet habe, wird nicht auf dem Kanal erscheinen. Also für euch das erste ist eigentlich das zweite. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Ja. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. War nicht hier schon? War mir da jetzt schon? Ich weiß es nicht. Da ist halt eben in der ersten Aufnahme, ich meine, ich bin mir gar nicht so sicher. Ich laufe da einfach mal lang. Ich laufe einfach durch und ist ja eh der Rush. Stanley would meet his violent death. Wir sterben. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nein. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Jawohl. Da geht die Tür auf. Äh, wir könnten noch zurück, aber wir gehen einfach mal hier rein. Ja, wir laden. Uh. Alles klar. Wir können nicht raus. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. 
and so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Fairbrook Stanley. Als nächstes sind wir dran. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Stanley. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Es ist ein einfacher schwarzer Raum. Ich laufe jetzt einfach mal. Every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Schrödinger. Oh, oh, Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. Dann machen wir alle aus Strom sparen. So. Fünf, vier, drei, eins, zwei. Der Sound. Und keine Tür lässt uns rein. Lässt uns rein. Äh, uh, Credits. Wir haben mitgespielt. Mitgespielt vor allem, ja. Da waren wir auch schon. Das ist der Pierre. Äh. Uh, Okay. More endings, fewer endings, more narrows, fewer narrows, more Stanley, less Stanley. These are screenshots of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. Yeah. Okay. Ui. Ein Stück mal warte. Ähm, ich schaue mir das jetzt alles nochmal an, weil ich nicht weiß, ob sich hier irgendwas. Ändert? Ah, ich dachte, da wäre was. Narrow Single. Okay. Wie haben wir hier nochmal? Ein Telefon. Ähm. Aha. Das Teil hatten wir auch schon. Mhm. One option. First choice. Dosh, maintenance. Äh. Ach du je, das ist doch immer das gleiche, oder? Nee. Nein, es ist nicht. Wend. To confuse ending. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you end. Ach, du Alarm. Okay. Ähm. Was haben wir hier? Kann man nichts machen. Okay. La 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 la. Waren wir da schon? Waren wir da schon? Office Clock. Okay. Hier sind die Computer wieder. Alles klar. Wir waren hier schon. Waren wir da hinten? Hier geht's wieder hoch. Oh, huch, was haben wir denn hier? Oh, Takes. Aha. Ich habe was gehört. Ganz leise. Na, Luft hält sich schnell. 
See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook will stay. It's the kind of thing you'd pick up on intuitively if you had even the most fundamental understanding of good and bad game design. Okay, das wurde nicht verwendet. Das, was wir jetzt hören, wurde nicht im Spiel verwendet. Haben sie aber hierhin getan, weil war halt da, ne? Alles klar. Ähm, dann schauen wir mal, wo es hier wieder rausgeht. Der Rush dauert schon viel zu lange. Ich habe mich hier jetzt seit vier Minuten oder so aufgehalten. Äh, ich habe mich ehrlich gesagt leicht verlaufen. Hallo. Ähm. Ja. Jetzt bin ich hier wieder, ey. Das gibt's doch gar nicht. Wie komme ich denn hier weiter? Hm. Da ist das Telefon. Hä? Mann, wo geht's denn hier wirklich weiter? Waren wir hier oben schon? Hier sind die Büroräume. 427, 427. Sind die gleich? Ah, ich kann nicht rein. Oh. Ja, kann ich auch nicht. Äh, 3, 427. Nein, die sind unterschiedlich. Okay. Ich möchte gerne hier raus. <lacht> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Ja. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. So? So, my dear. Nein. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Blöd. So. Wir sind tot. Sind wir tot? Hallo. Spiel fortsetzen. Hallo. Ähm. Hallo? Ich würde gerne weiter spielen. Hallo? Hallo? Muss ich jetzt wirklich Neustart drücken? Ist das das, was ich tun muss? Ist doch doof. Ist doch doof. Naja, aber tot ist halt tot, ne? Neustart. So kriegen wir die Blätter nicht wieder dahin. Das ist doof, 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 doof. Wo ist der Sprecher? Wir sind komplett alleine. Als Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ja. Machen wir noch mal. Yet there was not a single person here. Immer noch nicht. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ich würde gerne mal runtergehen, was da ist. Ein rotes Lichtchen. Ähm, ein Auto. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors <laughs> close automatically behind him wherever he went? Yeah, and for that job. matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying. And began to um, gently float above the ground. Um. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too What? appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Um. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? Dictating everything <laughs> that I'm doing and thinking. Yeah. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Hat ja toll geklappt. Darf ich Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? No, Junge. And everything went black. Oh. Ich würde mich da immer gerne umsehen wollen. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like, and in that moment she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Das ist ein bisschen anders gelaufen, wie ich jetzt gedacht hatte. Sind wir jetzt wieder Stanley? Das ist die Frage. 